Good afternoon and welcome back to Girded with Truth. Today, we're continuing talking about the promise of God and we're taking it from the angle of preparation. So we're going to go into preparation for the promise. A lot of time God gives us a promise, but are we preparing for the promise? And before you say we don't need to prepare because it's a word from God, let's go to 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verses 7 to 9. And this is Solomon. He received the promise since from the days of his father to say that he would build a temple unto God. And he says here, yeah, Send me now therefore a man cunning to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in iron and in purple and crimson and blue, and that can skill to grieve with the cunning men that are with me in Judah and in Jerusalem, whom David my father did provide. Send me also cedar trees, fir trees, and algum trees out of Lebanon, for I know that thy servants can skill to cut timber in Lebanon. And behold, my servants shall be with thy servants, even to prepare me timber in abundance. For the house which I am about to build shall be wonderful, great. So here, Solomon is saying, prepare me the timber, send the men. He's organizing to build the temple of God. And we know how great and grand that turned out. But it is only because Solomon had a plan. He was Prepare and he didn't just receive the promise and say, okay, I'll wait on God to fulfill it. He started to work towards this promise. He started to prepare. And Isaiah chapter 8 verse 17 says, And I will wait upon the Lord that hideth his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. So just as Solomon did not just sit down and say he's waiting on God, he decided to prepare. Isaiah now is saying, I will wait upon the Lord. But he also says he will look for him. Now looking for someone or something takes an active pursuit towards them. So this notion we have of wait is not what we think it is and isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says but they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint so this is talking about people who wait on the lord are going some way but before we go any further let me address this issue of waiting so this aspect of waiting speaks about tarrying yes it speaks about also looking for but strange enough it goes back to the hebrew word koko which says to actually carve out or to set a print so it means you have to set goals you have to be headed somewhere you have to be doing something you ever was in a situation where you got something that god promised you you got the breakthrough and when you look back on your life you realize that job that you hated to be in that situation that you really didn't like actually prepared you for the promise or the breakthrough that you are standing in it is just like that you are not waiting doing nothing instead you are actively pursuing god you are actively pursuing your destiny you are setting a print or a goal or a vision for what god has promised you because god has given you the promise you know habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 says for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely come. It will not tarry. 
So here's this notion of waiting for the vision to come to pass. Here's this notion of waiting for your promise to come to pass. And the word wait here means coco. It's the Hebrew word coco, which speaks about carving out and setting a print. It speaks about actively looking and pursuing what you are waiting for what you have been promised so there's not a notion of sitting back and doing nothing and just waiting for it to come to pass just as solomon we have a responsibility to actively prepare we have to gather the resources that god has sent we have to put the plan the structure and the strategy in place in order to execute this promise God is not going to just hand it to you. He's not going to give you the promise, establish the promise, and give you all the materials for the promise too. No, you have to do something because remember, we spoke about this being a partnership. So you don't get to sit back and do nothing while God does all the work. But you get to contribute to this promise that God has given to you. You have to get up and pray. You have to get up and fight. You have to prepare for the promise. You have to have faith and you have to have patience. But one thing that will come out of your preparation is the manifestation of this promise. So waiting for it means serving God and working setting the blueprint carving out your destination that is what it means so as we get these promises from god do not fail to prepare for your promise breakthrough is at your door restoration is at your door the manifestation of all what god said to you is at your door Are you preparing for the promise or are you waiting on God while God is waiting on you? Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.